The Lawrence community is, is just a brilliant in its ability to engage learners not only uh, academically but socially and emotionally and very personally. They're part of a vibrant, embracing culture. festivals around the country are watch and listen kinds of events. And one thing that is really beautiful about Milo Music and also showcases part of Appleton too is this very community oriented feeling to the festival. And the music education team is a huge part of that by putting on these immersive and interactive events um, that allow people the opportunity to not just attend the festival but be the festival. Having this music education piece, it gives that foundation for young people, older people to sort of find that, find that sense of artistry. You know, I think I think that's so awesome, man. That's what Lawrence is about. That's what they represent, um, and I love that model. One day, see what music can do to heal and keep and mend the souls of women and the souls of men. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the mile for inspiring me more than I've ever been in a while. Now, on day three, on this awesome mile four, I wanted this bad and now I'm wanting it even more. Yeah! My time at Lawrence has really, really influenced my life as a music educator. I was a government major and music major, and I've tied those two degrees together. I teach a lot about leadership, and at the Mile of Music, I'm able to just share my love and passion for music with people of all ages. People who want to come and see great bands can also dive in and make music actively. So that they're going home after a long day and if they've seen some bands and they've come to our sessions and made some music, whether it's ukulele or they've done some African drumming and dancing, they've left knowing what it was like to make music. When our Lawrence students help make that happen, their impact goes well beyond our Lawrence campus and even well beyond our community.